guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a little haul video. So I'm just gonna move this little stack to the side. First up, I ordered some stuff from Muji online, which by the way, doing my budgeting videos is definitely holding me more accountable. I went on Muji and I was browsing and I found so much good stuff and I didn't buy it. I just went what I went for. Just bought what I went for, so it's good budgeting is holding me accountable. So I got some more pens. I got these pens. I got two black, one red and one pink. They are all in the 0.38 nib. They're all the 0.38 nib. I've been loving using my black one. So I decided to get a red one for my budgeting book and a pink one because why not? <laughs> only spent eight pounds something bargain I will leave links to them because they are really good pens and I didn't even realize Muji shipped I was quite happy about that next up I have got two orders from fantasy design stores so yeah two orders yes so I'm gonna go right ahead and show you what I got so there was a freebie, which these are the little Luna collection. It's um, based on Janine's dog and their exclusive artwork. I'm loving it, super cute. Then I got these rainbow quarter boxes. I like to use them in my monthly view. I got these messy bun getting stuff done. I've almost finished the sheet I had of them and I love them. I have had all of these colors of hair I'm about to go back to brown, but I've had all those colors of hair. <laughs> then I got these Hobonichi Pastel push pin boxes to fit in my Hobonichi Weeks. I got movie marquees because I don't have very many movie marquee stickers and we're watching more movies lately. I got some more pastel binge watch TVs. I've got quite a lot of these, but I didn't have the pastels, not very many of them left, so I ordered one. Then I got some Hobo Weeks kits. I got this rainbow foiled. I love it. Then I got Galactic Christmas, which is ace. I got some Kawaii TVs. Again, I already have these, but I've almost finished a sheet. Then I bought these scallop boxes. I like to use these in my monthly view as well. And then I ordered during a sale and there was a freebie and it's this and look at that foiling. I actually asked in the notes if I could get a pink foiled one. I think the other one was silver and I did. So thank you Janine and William for indulging me in my pink foiling love. <laughs> then I got some foiled word stickers. So I got the planner ones, which planning session and time to plan next week. So cute. And I got those in rose gold and I think this is the hollow. Yep, hollow silver. And then I got the laundry ones also in hollow silver. Time to tackle laundry mountain and those clothes won't fold themselves. These are the ones I need. Oh no, I've just smudged that. Oh man. And then I got home for the holidays, which is a full page Hobonichi Weeks kit. So this sticks on the right hand side and this sticks on the left. I've not used any kits that take up the full page, but I'm interested to try it. So I ordered one. And I also got this one, which is Take Me To My Happy Place. Again, full page. Quite interested to try that as well. Next up is a little order from Josephine Bow Designs. She was closing up for holidays or a break or something, I'm not sure. And so I placed an order before she closed. And I got Rachel's PR freebie again, but I've already used the last one I got, so I needed that. I got the October freebie again. I already have that one. That's okay. Um, I'm going to do this kit first, and then I'm going to explain these two. Excuse the snoring dog in the background as well. She is very loud and very old. So this is the blush animal in the Hobo Weeks. So it's pink and like leopard and cheetah. I 
love this. The colours are not showing up quite so vibrant on camera, but it's pink. It's well pink. And I love it. I can't wait to use that. And then I bought this. So this is... I'm not going to take out the packet. This is a Hobo Weeks kit for the UK PA Big Meat, which is the UK Planner Addicts. I also bought the washi card. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the washi card. I'm going to be selling this kit on Facebook, probably, because I didn't get a ticket to the Big Meat. I bought this before the tickets to the Big Meat went on sale because she was closing and I knew I wanted it if I got a ticket but then I didn't get a ticket. I wasn't quick enough. I actually forgot they were on sale because I got my days confused and it was like 11 o'clock at night before I remembered and I'm on a wait list but I'm number 176 I believe so I very much doubt I'm getting tickets and to be honest I'm okay with that but now I have this kit. A little part of me is tempted to keep it and just not use those two boxes but I don't know, I might see if there's somebody on the UK Planner Addicts page who wants it instead. I do like the washi card. But I won't lie, I think if I use this I'll just look at it and feel disappointed that I'm not actually going. Because I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> so yeah. Note to self, don't order stickers for a meet before you have a ticket for said meet. And last up is this which I ordered from The Organised Hedgehog. And this is my Happy Planner Classic for next year. So this is 2020 Happy Planner Classic in the Jujube Geo Dreams Vertical. So it has rose gold plastic discs. Dream Believe Do Repeat. I really like this and I love this. So it has your monthly forecast, it has your month calendar and then the notes page before the month which has monthly goals, special days and notes, <clears throat> January divider and then it goes into the month calendar and the weekly. Now I'm hoping this is more basic so the words and the numbers aren't quite so over the top like in my Amy Tangerine one which is what I've been using. Plus, there's no added design features of little crosses or lines, and this this side of the page is straight. The lines are not squint, which I do believe was a design feature of the last one, but I didn't like it at all. So I'm hoping this one is better. And then we have the February divider. I'll be honest, there were some others that I preferred the divider for, um, like the dividers, but I preferred the actual weekly layout of this. I do wish Happy Planner did like a build your own so you could pick the week's pages and the dividers. Like I could have picked the geo dividers and or the geo layout and the dividers from another one or something like that but I didn't so and they don't. I mean there are some design features that I'll probably cover up with Tibex. The May one where there's while there's life, there is hope. I like that one. I do like the colours. I like that they're not the same every month. But that they're not over the top. And also, it's not all grey lines. It's coloured lines. Which, I mean, I'll be honest. I'll probably cover up the same as I do now. And the dark green are going to be harder to cover. But that's okay. Seriously, that dog snoring is so loud. <laughs> and you lie. I do like the pale blue. August, say yes to new adventures. No, I probably won't. Um, September, I like that stripey pattern. September and the October divider. I really like that, very 60s. And the November divider. I am gonna be singing though says go your own way. I'm gonna be singing all the time. I promise not to sing in my videos. You really don't want to hear that. And December's Divider, really love December's Divider. That's pretty. Very pretty. And that is it. That is the end of it. And a notes page at the back. Just one.
just one. And so that's my planner for next year. I don't think I'm going to stuff it as much as I do my current one. I don't think I'm going to have all the tracker and stuff like that in the front. I think I'm going to do that elsewhere. Where? I'm not sure. In here? Probably not. But I really like this. And so I also got this to go along with it. So I really like the new Stargazer collection. But I bought the Stargazer planner for my budget binder because I didn't like it for a weekly layout. But I really like the collection and really wanted some of the accessories. So bought the accessories pack. So, oh goodness, it comes with, whoa. Okay, this is just a bit of plastic this is on. That's okay then. So it comes with, if I can get it out, a divider that says you can do anything you set your mind to. That's a good today divider. It comes with a little mini sticky notes which is on clear plastic punched for the happy planner. I like that a lot. It comes with a pocket, born to wonder. Very, very pretty, which also has a little sheet of stickers in. I did buy the Stargazer sticker book as well, so that'll go nicely with those. And then it has notes paper, which I love. I really do love, with dot grid on the back, well, grid on the back as well. I really love the Stargazer patterns and I think that it'll go quite nicely with this one because the colors are quite similar so yeah I think it'll work so this is my planner for 2020 I'm excited I'm ready ready to start my new planner not long now in fact there's only like oh my goodness there's only like six or seven weeks left in my planner ah okay hi guys so I'm just adding this in to the end of the haul video which I've just cut off in a random place um I got these two things delivered today and my haul video is not going up for another week so I thought I would quickly unbox these and show you because I want to use them I didn't want to wait and film and have them show like a week later so I have two orders here one from strawberry lime designs and one from coffee monster co they both came today I'm very excited about them I want to be able to use them so I'm just gonna open them so first up is strawberry lime designs and I got this kit for the Hobonichi weeks because look at that little kitten look at that kitten oh my goodness I love cats I just thought this was super cute and had to have it and then I got this one, which is the, uh, that goes with it, sorry. It goes with it, there's the kitten again. I love the bottom washi in this. And I got this one, which is a Christmas kit. I did get a couple of Christmas kits and I've got a couple of Christmas kits on the way as well. Yeah. Um, those go together. I really like that bottom washi. And then I got this one, which is the white Christmas one. It's just so cute. The paper feels really nice as well, and I really liked the bottom washi. And I liked that the top washi was more detailed than the bottom. And then, last but not least, I got this one, which is technically a Christmas kit, I think. It's called, I think this one is called Willow. But I would say I could use this anytime. Like, it's not just Christmassy to me. Maybe because of the lights, but nah, I'll make it work. So, I got those four kits from Strawberry Lime Designs. Oh, and I got a freebie as well. Christmas themed. And then I got an order from the Coffee Monster Co. So, this was a Halloween flash sale. And depending which code you use, meant which freebie you got but if you spent over a certain amount you got both freebies and I might have got both freebies <laughs> wasn't on a no spend then so this is the little freebie how cute and then these are the two Halloween ones so I selected so the code I used would have got me this one but I also got this one because I spent enough and I love them both. So I got a bunch of Hobonichi stickers. 
I got this, which is the Twinkle Twinkle Hobonichi kit. I love how tiny these are. And that is the other sheet. There's only one top washi, which I don't know. I think I would have liked more. And then I got the Twinkle Twinkle sticky notes that match. So you could buy it um, where you just got the two sheets or you could buy it along with the sticky notes that matched. And I love these, so I had to have those. Then I got the onesies in the hobo kit. I have used the onesies mini kit in my happy planner and I loved it so much that I just had to have the hobo kit as well. And I got the sticky notes that coordinated for that one. And then I did get another sheet of the sticky notes. These are the pastel mini sticky notes. I love this pastel rainbow down here. Very cute. Then I got the festive planning emojis. I did get quite a few Christmas ones. <laughs> Gift wrapping emojis. I got the Christmas emo- they're not emojis, they're emojis, Caroline. Um, I got the Christmas emojis countdown. I always call them emojis, I don't know why. And then I got the Psy half boxes. Love these. And that's the pastels. And I got them in the gloomy colourway as well. I loved the grey and I really like this sort of deep blue. And I got the doodling emotis. And I got the emoti heads, which I got part eight. I really like these ones. I have a feeling I'm going to use those ones a lot. And then I got the Santa's to-do list. It was just too cute to pass up. Then I got the Christmas Movie Marathon Marquis Blank because there are a lot of Christmas movies on this list that I'm not going to watch, like Charlie Brown and some other ones. So I got the blank one. And then I got the Winter Wonderland Mini Kit. How cute is this? I already know when I'm going to use this because it's going to be a collab with a friend of mine here on YouTube. And I'm very excited. I love the washi. Love it. And the movie time. I'm really excited to use this. I love Coffee Monster Co stickers. And then that is the journaling card as well, Walking in a Winter Wonderland. And thank you Mama Tater. And you can collect your coffee monsters. Coffee monsters? No, you can collect your coffee beans off each sheet of stickers on here. And that's it. I might have more to add to this haul, but if I don't, if anyone has any questions, please ask them down below, or you can find me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram name just here. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.